So, welcome ladies and gentlemen. We are now at the semi-final stages of the Dynamic Billiard Euro Tour here in St. Johann in Bongau, a beautiful city town in Austria. Seen some great matches already. Nikos making a couple of balls off the break. So I'll keep the table. He's got a shot on the two and uh, where the three is. He'll be hoping to just draw that cue ball back off the side cushion, keep it around where the two is. There's the birthday boy himself, or just disappeared. And there we already have Nikos using his extension. We have the shot clock in the semi-finals and finals. Nicely executed. Yeah, we have the shot clock for the semi-finals and finals. These players have 25 seconds to play the shot before the referee calls time, and then that gives them an extra 10 seconds. So within that time, the player either has to get the ball moving or call an extension himself, which Nikos did, which gives him an extra 25 seconds. So in total, he gets a minute but that's only once during one frame, so he has no more extensions. But I don't see really any more problems on the table. I don't think he'll be using too much of his time. You see, walking back quickly to get his Q extension there. Talking about extensions. Could be a little bit straight on the seven. Gonna have to be drawing that cue ball back. Oh, he's just left that a fraction short. I think it was very straight, so I think he didn't really want to come all the way back. It would have gone back any further. It would have probably been square with the eight. But he's going for a tough cut. Straight in the pocket there. Ah, oh, the whites, the cue ball's just gone down. That's gonna be nasty. That's gonna be nasty. What a terrific shot. He's not breaking overly hard here. He's trying to do a control break, but I think that's going to be a dry one. Or an illegal break, I should say, because we have the three-point rule. So... For those of you who don't know, three balls have either got to go into the pocket or break the kitchen line. And as you can see, only the two has done that with the one in the middle pocket. So it's only two balls. And Nikos again taking a very quick extension on his shot clock. Using his extension at the first attempt again. Did it in the last frame. But he won that one. Could have maybe used a little bit more time than that. You see Nick straight out of his chair. The clock doesn't start until the ball is moving. Or oh, stop moving, I should say. So Nick using the couple of seconds. But he had extra while the cue ball was still finding its own position. I see some of you on the chat. I love the new camera angle. Yeah, that's this camera over here with the jib. It's on uh, 
it's on one of the long arms like a boom and it goes up and down and around the arena as you can see we're moving with it now I think Nick was just asking somebody to uh, not take a picture there because uh, a lot of people they don't realize although your phone uh, you can turn your flash off but sometimes you have like a red eye there's the guy there's the culprit but you have a little red eye and you might think that the flash is off but there comes a little flash and uh, it does affect the players oh he didn't really want to bump into that as he's still got a little space behind I don't think so I think he's going for his jump stick he's gonna be just jumping over the nine half a ball there so got to be careful near the bottom rail oh just overdid it a little bit oh has he got lucky there a ball protecting from the four I think Nikos can come off the rail don't forget Nikos has already used his extension so he's only playing on a total of 35 sh seconds per shot now 25 seconds, a referee a called time. Oh, just didn't get enough of the cushion first there. And the, these two players are familiar with the shot clock, so there will be no different pressure. Of course, everyone handles the shot clock their own sort of way and uh, but both of these players are used to it with the Moscone as well and they're getting a little bit lucky and that shot and uh, tried to bank then the four gone past the middle pocket so that's out of the equation and the six is sort of protecting it 34 years of age today Nick is I've been told he's 34, not by Nick, but uh, someone else, so if he's not, I do apologize. I'm sure Vanessa will correct us. And I haven't announced it yet, so uh, we'll give him a little birthday song later, I'm sure. Oh, where's the cue ball? Oh, again, getting a little bit lucky here, taking a chance, and... Uh, Looks like it's rolling his way. Nikos can see the four. I'm not sure he can do too much with it. I think he's just got to send it up past the eight and hope to keep the cue ball just down there behind. Maybe slice the four along the cushion and send the cue ball up between the eight and nine. Oh, it doesn't want to come out too far. And it has poked its head out. You see there Nick straight away at the table using up all the valuable seconds while that ball is still still moving we had a problem here on the final table on the first day a little bit of a roll but the dynamic fitters came out and uh, we spent the night changing the slate to make this again a perfect table fit for the final of the Euro Tour. Players appreciated it as well. Of course they understood that some things sometimes were out of our control and uh, both players were told there was a little roll on the table that couldn't really be fixed and uh, of course like professionals they all got on with it until that evening so it was only the first day where we had a little bit of a problem but uh, everyone professional like I said and just got on with their job and thanks to the dynamic guys for coming out here 600 kilometers all the way back with another slate and uh, up till two o'clock almost in the morning changing it Here's Nick with a perfect opportunity to bring this match level at one apiece. There it is. And 
used it wisely later on when that four was hiding behind the eight. Here's Nikos now. See if he can make another break and run. There's nothing dropped yet. Or is the cue ball going to drop? No. Nope. Mm, that is a dry break. A legal one, but a dry one. Nick has a shot on the one. Two ball down on the bottom rail as we look at the screen here. Side rail as we know it. Just looking to see if the two ball was frozen to the cushion. Makes the shot easier if it is. If it's a couple of millimeters off of that cushion, then that changes the shot completely. Nice gentle roll into the corner. Leaving himself with a small angle as a invasion here. Of course, we're in the mountains here in Saint Johan. And uh, there are the farms and everything around, and I think they have just done their fertilizer. Because there seems to be a lot of flies around outside. A few of them actually get in, and there's nothing we can do there. with the six, seven, eight, and nine to put himself in control. Oh, where's the cue ball going? Where's it going? Wow. And that was a complete lapse of concentration there from Nick. Lost the cue ball completely. He's going to be running, hiding. That's where he's pointing to where he wants a cue ball. Completely lost it. Not quite where he pointed to, but I'm sure he'll be happy with that. Leave Nikos with a snooker. And no extension, so you better get a move on, Nikos. Was the last frame. My mistake. Made a note of that one. He got a little kiss off the seven there, which sent. So Nick using his extension now. Just wants a little bit more time to have a closer look at this. It's a long, long way. There's Alex Lilly, one of the Dutch coaches, in the background there with the orange shirt. Would be happy with his Dutch team here, because the other semi-final, Niels Feyen, just saw off the attempts from the Frenchman Stefan Cohen to book his place in the semi-final where he'll be facing the Estonian Dennis Grabe or Grabe oh Nick wow now that was a big mistake I see that as soon as he played it I guess there was something not right there again a little bit of a lapsing concentration is that a busy day Nick couple of tough matches in the earlier rounds today. I say tough as well as long. So hasn't had the rest that maybe Nikos has had. And it is tough when you're out here for hours on end playing this game. You've got to be mentally fit. 
as well as as physically fit as possible. The two are connected. There's two balls gone in the pocket, but nothing past the kitchen line. So that will be an illegal break. And Nikos will be coming to the table. And he's got a shot on the one. Only thing is the four, the eight is protecting one pocket. And I think the nine is protecting the other. But is there a combination? That's what Nikos is looking at. There's Nick. A bit disappointed with that start. Should be 2-1 up himself. But he's trailing Nikos now 2-1. There you see the 4-9 possible combination. And it's pretty straight. As long as he can keep over that side, I think he'll be attempting the 4-9 combination. Oh. Using the whole pocket or trying to. These are tight pockets. These are tight pockets. The only thing is there. Now that would have been a perfect position to take the combo on. Now Nick has really got to try and get around. I don't know where he's going to get the position for. I think he's just going to try and keep it down there. He can't play really for position to take the combo. So Nick's using his extension and his Q extension. If he could really try and get back and play that combo, it would be good. Not even attempting it, yeah. There was just no way back there. So taking a smart way out, leaving himself along four, roll through a little bit. And you have a shot on the five, that's what he's looking at there, where he wants to leave the cue ball about just above middle of the table. Playing well through. I don't think he meant to be that close. He's still testing the roll of this table. He's still trying to find the feel. Each table plays a little bit differently. Oh, that didn't get enough side on that. Got plenty of draw, but not enough side to kick himself out of that rail. And this is what I mean. That six ball is a fraction off of the rail there. Makes it so much harder than if it was frozen to the rail. Nick, Nick makes it look easy though. But that is a tough shot. Oh, Nick, that is the second in a row. It's just a lack of concentration. Wow. Nikos. And really, including this frame, Nikos should be 3 1 down, but Nikos could find himself 3 1 up. And that'll do Nikos nicely. This for a 3 1 lead. At the expense of two mistakes by Nick Vandenberg. Oh, the cue ball as well. Cue ball dropped in the same pocket as the one, which gives Nick a ball in hand. Would have been a good break because one in the pocket and three of them behind the kitchen line. But unfortunately for Nikos, the cue ball also followed the one and went to bed with it. Well, you don't want to be frozen. Uh, just gives the eight ball a little kiss. Didn't really want to be frozen. If he could hit that on the wrong side, he would have been in trouble as well. Oh, 
Well, Nick is really struggling with his table at the moment. Out of position, out of control. And a lot of work still to do, trailing Nikos three games to one. was a tough cut. Now Nikos must be wondering what is happening. Some real mistakes there from Nick. The only thing I can put it to is he hasn't had much of a break today yet. Like I said earlier, a couple of long matches. But he's got to eliminate them if he wants to stay in this match. Giving it away like this is no good. A player of Nikos's caliber, he will eat this up. And he'll spit it out at the end. Nikos with an 8 and 9 to go into a 4 1 lead. A surprise 4 1 lead, albeit. And there it is. Capitalizing on the mistakes from Nick there to take a 4 1 lead, which uh, kicked off this morning and will continue tonight after the men's finals have finished. Wow, Nick not getting the break together either. Yeah, <clears throat> Nikos not even bothering to get out of the chair then. He could see from where he was that he didn't have a shot on the one. Didn't even bother getting up out of the chair because it was an illegal break. And because of that, Nick is the only player allowed to play a push out. Nikos could only accept the table as it was or give it back to Nick, which he did. Where's the cue ball again? This is really unusual. I, I don't think I've seen so many mistakes by Nick Vandenberg in one match. Frame after frame. I think if I was his coach or if I was Nick, I'd be looking for a timeout after this frame. Just to get your head together because something is getting him really, really rattled. Paddy on the chat is saying he's powered out. Yeah, I spoke about that a little bit already. He's had a couple of tough matches where Nikos has had the opportunity to sit outside for an hour while his opponent has been toughing it out on the table. remaining to take a, a really commanding lead get over the halfway stage put himself on five 
don't think many people would expect that to happen here in this semi-final. Nick van der Berg could be trailing Nikos by five games to one. We already saw a whitewash earlier in the day where the last of the Austrian hopes went down. He was shot down in flames by Dennis Grabe, 9-0, beating Mario He. A little bit much like uh, what's happening to Nick here. That's a, a sort of an exact repeat from Mario earlier today. Wow, now Nikos. See the one. Don't think he can do too much with it. Nikos using his extension. That's a petty Mario. Uh, plays in your club, does he? He'll be able to tell you about his experience to be on the receiving end of a 9-0 thrashing on a TV table at the Eurotour. I can tell you something. It's not nice at the best of times, but in front of your home fans, it's even worse. Well, there you go. Nikos playing a push-out because it was an illegal break. So only the breaker can play the push-out. Again, Nick didn't even bother getting out the chair. There were so many balls in the way. And, uh, Nikos playing push out and Nick putting Nikos in trouble. He got out of it, but he's left him on. Now you can see, I don't know how good your screens are, but you can see one of the little invaders down there on the table flying around. That's what Nick's chasing away. We'll have to get the fly squad out soon. Start splattering them all over the place. And before you animal rights lovers get on to me, it's only a fly. Does this 4-9 go? After he's got to get the three first, but is there a gap? No, I think the six is obscuring that, so he's going to go round. No quick fix for Nick. Yeah, see, we're just looking where he wants to be there for the six. Yeah, we're going to have to ask the referee to uh, do something there. He's going to have to... Uh, Maybe we have a new job for the referees, fly killers. Oh, you got to concentrate on this, Nick. We'll try and sort out the fly for you in a moment. There's a bit of a bad contact there. A little bit of a bad contact there. Didn't get enough of it left himself short for the seven that's going to be a, a fine cut into the corner pocket the good thing is the eight's up the other end so he's going in the right direction puts a little bit of Czech English on it to hold it there Is saying that when it's not rolling for you, you have a problem, and that's for sure. You all need a little bit of luck in everything we do. 
and like Paddy said, if it's not going your way, then uh, it does affect you. It gets in your head. You know, if you get a bit of bad luck, then you end up. You don't have a table referee as such. However, if the players need the referee to judge the shot, he's there. He's right there. He'll be out there quicker than you can say, Jack. And the two just finally making it. Is this the turning point? It was going to be a dry break until the two just finally made it over the line and fell into that middle pocket. This is a tough one. A natural angle of the cue ball is going to be going over towards a seven and away from where he really wants to be. Wants to avoid the kiss if he can. Actually, that what a super shot. All the way back there to get position for the three. That was important because the three did not go past the five. As the cue ball was over in that direction, he needed to get back down here. Just going to draw this three back. We've got the four up here for the top corner. there to get position for the six and he has to drop the six in the bottom pocket just come off the cushion a little bit to give him control of the cue ball for the seven to the side cushion here. Tries to drop it in, yeah. That's nicely done. Not on the cushion, but towards the cushion. But we can still use the cue ball. Going to be using at least two rails to get round for this nine ball, I think. thought was in. I would have bet my life on it. He is really strong. You can see that body language telling you. <laughs> like I said, I have not seen anything like this from Nick. Just as you thought the tide was turning, all of a sudden a whirlpool comes up and swallows you. Yeah. Well, Nikos, three, two thirds of the way there. Needing three more frames to book his place in the final, and a seven dropped in. It keeps him at the table. He has a shot on the one, a fine cut though. Cuba will be coming down, traveling towards a four and two. to take it on he could even hide send the one ball back up table stick the cue ball behind her but I think he's got a shot on it no he's choosing to hide probably a sensible shot oh look what is left look 
considering that position there, where the one ball is with a three. If Nick doesn't make contact with a one ball, I think Nikos may have a slim chance there of playing a combination one nine. Nick's got to hit the one yet. Uh, just goes past. Let's see what Nikos does. Is the combo on the one nine because the one is in an awkward position. I know the one three is on, but that is not going to win you the game straight away. He's looking now at a possibility. Or is he going to look to play another safety? I like the option there. If, if he can get enough of that one to play the combo, yeah, he's looking. If we can get enough of that, I'd certainly do that. Draw the cue ball back a little bit so it comes up behind the eight. And if you do happen to miss, it should be sort of relatively safe. Oh, he didn't do either. He didn't draw the cue ball back. A little bit careless. having problems with that fly. Thing is I don't see it when Nikos is there. Maybe Nikos don't uh, bother with it. It doesn't bother him. But uh, certainly Nick, yeah, catch it. I'll uh, have to see if we can uh, get rid of that soon, if it carries on disturbing the players. It's no good sending someone in there to chase the fly. You've got to be there, wait for it to settle, and then splat. But you don't want to do that on the cloth. That's going to be nasty. He wants to just bounce off the cushion if he can a little bit. A little bit more would have been nicer. What's the just draw it a fraction because the six is there as well. Just stops it and draws it back about half a centimeter. And play over to the other side now for the eight. Give himself an eight down the rail. Nikos with a commanding lead of six games to two. laughing there, sort of um, not laughing because he, he thinks it's a joke, he just can't believe what's happening. I think the fly, there's the fly, it's still with uh, Nico, so it's at the table. I think it's after a job as a referee. Oh, where's the cue ball now? Oh, look at that. Wow. <laughs> I tell you what, Nikos, if you haven't done the lotto tonight, you better get out there quick. Well, seven games to two. Yeah. Trying to sort of give him a signal of some sort or G him up in some way there. Obviously not verbally, but with her eyes. Just trying to give him a little reassurance that you know, it's, he's still there. You can't just uh, walk away from this. I've seen many a player come back from this deficit. Yeah. Okay. <clears throat> yeah. I'm going to be back in a minute and join you. And uh, I'm going to see if there's anything that we can do down there. I'm going to just go and have a look. I'll be back with you soon. So don't go away. Enjoy the action. I'll 
I'll be back shortly. Okay, so I just had to run downstairs and uh, have a word with a referee if he gets a chance and sees the intruder then uh, he's gonna put the intruder to bed. And that's a good safety there from Nikos cue ball frozen to the nine six seven and eight in the way uh, he needs a little bit of help from this needs that to bounce out I don't think it is enough I think Nikos can see it I don't think he can get enough of it to pot it not a straight shot anyway he could try and be cheeky here I just Give a little masse around it if he wants to try. No. Nope. He's just going to try and play the safety. A smart thing to do. Doesn't really want it to go over the pocket. That's a good shot there. Oh, there we are. Tomislav Suhanek, still a very, very disappointed that you didn't get the opportunity to play Mr. Suke, I know. You were really looking forward to that. But hey, next time, next Euro Tour, you may get the chance again. of you who 
were not here or don't know that, but uh, Suhanek was in the event. And if Ralph would have won his last match, Suhanek would have been playing against him. And he was actually looking forward to it. Most people want to avoid Ralph or the top players, but Tomislav was really looking forward to it. I'm very disappointed that Ralph broke his heart. This is looking like it's the end of the road for the birthday boy with Nikos 7, 8 and 9 for a place in the final. And Nikos using his extension now. Changing shots halfway through, that's never good. Make up your mind before you go down on the shot. Don't change it while you're down there. That's one of the first golden rules of playing pool. Same with other sports. If you change your mind during something, better if you can stop what you're doing and regroup, refocus. And this nine ball for a place in the final and condemn Nick to third place at this year's Dynamic Euro Tour here in Austria. The next semi-finals coming up in 30 minutes, 4 o'clock, where you'll see another Dutchman, Niels Feyen, the Terminator, taking on Estonia's Dennis Grave. Thank you for being with us, and we'll see you all back here in about 30 minutes. Goodbye for now.